They say that Tesla is not a car company. For me, nowhere is that more evident than when I look at this, the Tesla solar glass roof. Going solar was always an afterthought. Buy your house, get a roof installed. Then add some solar panels on top of all of it. Well, Tesla wants to reimagine the roof. And while they aren't the first to do it, they've done it right. The roof of yesterday kept you warm and dry, but the roof of tomorrow should also harness the free energy coming from the sun. But like all innovations, it won't be without a share of challenges. So today, let's take a deeper dive into the Tesla solar glass roof, the roof we deserve here on Tuba Da Vinci. The question you're probably wondering is how much will it cost? And if it's price competitive to today's model of building a roof, then retrofitting solar. But to answer that, let's break this up into two categories, parts and labor. Starting with parts, this is version three of the solar glass roof, the result of years of testing and refinement. They've been able to reduce the number of parts by 40% and have also streamlined the product and installation. V3 tiles are larger than previous generations, leading to less filler parts and more room for photovoltaic cells. The solar cells are laminated in an ultra strong and durable tempered glass with impressive ratings. It has a class A fire rating, a class three hail rating, giving Tesla the confidence to warranty it for 25 years. Looking at a traditional solar panel, you'll see it's comprised of individual photovoltaic cells that are wired up in series to increase the resulting voltage. For the solar glass roof, Tesla has broken out these cells from an external panel and stuck them right on the roof tiles themselves. This actually isn't new and companies like LumaSolar, Suntegra and Sunflare all have variations of a solar roof tile, but they all fall short of perfecting the look and style. The solar glass roof is the first product that offers a no compromise luxury roof that also generates electricity. Tesla explains how they did this in one of their earnings calls. Yeah, solar cells are optically isotropic, meaning it can look purple from one angle and green from another. And we have through a number of different iterations and technology experiments landed on a technology that gets the solar tiles to the point where they're anisotropic. So they blend in with the surrounding non-solar tiles and the trim. The manufacturing of these tiles is still more expensive than other conventional tiles, but with greater adoption and Tesla's ingenuity, expect these prices to fall in the coming years. Next is the really tricky bit, the installation. To help better understand it, I had a chance to chat with Mo, the CEO of Good Faith Energy in Texas. His company was one of the first installers to get certified from Tesla and has been installing the product for almost a year. So if you're interested in Tesla solar glass roof in Texas, I highly recommend you check out Good Faith Energy. If you're not in Texas, I'll put a link to my Tesla referral code in case you wanna get started, save a little money and help support the show. So now let's get Mo to come on and quickly talk about the installation. It's pretty simple. Uh, you send us an electric bill and we will make a design for you internally. And then we want to take a look at your electric consumption so that we can size the solar system. And from there, it's uh, basically working through Tesla logistics, getting an official bill of materials built out. We're pulling you know, permits and getting engineering plans made and waiting for that bill of materials uh, to arrive. And uh, then once it's here, we'll schedule the installation. One thing I think people need to understand is like, if you're doing a solar roof, you're going to have a massive looking construction site at your house for a couple of weeks. It's a very material and labor intensive product. And once, uh, once we're up and going, we scrape the roof down to the decking. After that, we install a peel and stick underlayment material and uh, the roof gets double wrapped. And then once the roof is sealed and, and, and the underlayment's installed, uh, we will actually start laying out something called a foot. So we put all the feet. Those feet are where the glass tiles hook into. Um, but essentially all the tiles get, get installed. Uh, you have producing tiles and non-producing tiles. The producing tiles are sized to your consumption. And then everything else is just a dummy tile to make the entire roof system look fully integrated. One of the biggest problems here is that the installers have to be as unique as the product itself. There's never been a crew before this that existed that was ready to install this product, right? You need a crew of a coppersmith and an electrician and a roofer. And that crew, until the solar roof was rolled out, never existed. 
Well, one thing that I'm really concerned about, who can install this product? The people that have tried to become certified through Tesla have been mainly roofers. And typically they reach out to us after they get certified and they're like, so how do you install this thing? You know, and we're like, aren't you certified through Tesla? <laughs> like, yeah, but we're roofers. We're not electricians. One more thing to keep in mind is that if you've gotten a quote on Tesla's website, that's really a rough figure. First and foremost, they're calculating off of floor square footage, floor plan square footage, and not roof plan square footage, uh, which is a huge discrepancy, right? Um, the other thing is they're not taking into account all the different roof planes and any complexities and any custom fabrications of metals that you have to make. It's just a computer spitting out a number. So hopefully this will give you a better idea of what to expect. That way you're not surprised if the prices change after you get your first initial quote, especially if you're thinking about becoming a customer. To talk about how Tesla's solar glass roof compares in terms of pricing, I'm gonna turn it over to the devilishly handsome Matt Farrell over at Undecided, talking about my friend Ben Sullins, talking about how the pricing stacks up. Ben Sullins put together a great price breakdown last spring between the different options. Based on his search criteria, he found that the Tesla solar roof would cost about $56,000. Now compare that to a solar array and a shingle roof at $42,000, or a solar array and a metal roof at $70,000, or a solar array and a tile roof at $111,000, or the big one, a solar array and a slate roof at $134,000. So when it comes to price, if you're looking for the bottom line figure, you can't really be asphalt shingle. And by the time you add solar to asphalt shingle, it's still gonna be cheaper than Tesla solar glass roof. But the minute you go to a metal roof or a tile or slate roof, a more premium product. Costs you like twelve to $1,400 a square, right? Okay, so, wow. um, you know, now this is starting to make sense because uh, I'm going to pull up my calculator in front of me. But if you take $2,000 a square and reduce the tax credit from it, that's $1,480 a square. And that's pretty comparable to... So that's not too far. And the other thing is not all systems are going to be priced at 2000 a square. Some will be at 16, 1700 a square, depending on the complexity and others might be 22, 2300, right? But we're working off with the law of averages, um, just to give you guys some real context around price. They have a 25 year warranty, uh, weatherization, uh, tile and power. Um, if you watch our videos, you'll see our guys walking around on those, you know, glass tiles throughout the course of the installation. They're rated for that. Um, they're extremely impact resistance, uh, impact resistant. It can, I think, withstand up to 166 mile per hour winds. And it has a class three uh, hail rating. I believe they're working on a class four. Um, but like I said, one of the biggest benefits, in my opinion, is I will never have to replace my full roofing system ever again. Even if I had some hail damage, I could use that that tool I was talking about earlier to pop up one of the uh, glass tiles, slide it out, slide a new one in, and I'm done. The best way to think about if this is a good idea for you, a good investment, is to think about how much your home is worth. Here in California, homes can easily start around a million dollars in value. So at that point, a fifty or seventy thousand dollar roof might not be that big of a deal, especially if when you go to sell it, that premium and that wow factor can lead to a higher sale. This will be especially true as the shortages of this product will keep it from getting to everybody that wants it. And inversely, if you live in a place where home and real estate prices are lower, then this probably isn't the best investment for you. And lastly, remember that this roof, unlike any other roof in the world, will actually pay you back and save you money. For me, the solar glass roof represents reimagining what a roof should be. We didn't build houses, then punch out holes to bring in water or take out sewage. These systems are central to what it means to build a house. If the sun radiates more solar energy on Earth in an hour than humanity consumes in a year, why shouldn't we look to our roofs and see them for the great underachievers they are? We shouldn't see solar as an add-on, but as a vital and central subsystem of a house. In fact, in California, new building codes already require homes to come with solar. Sure, the solar glass roof is a little more expensive than the most affordable roofing solutions of today. But just like everything Tesla does, they're pioneering a new market segment. Other companies will eventually come online and compete, and we can start to better utilize the wasted space sitting atop your home. In 20 or 30 years, my kids will be buying homes of their own, and I'll sit down with them and tell them of an ancient time when humankind used to waste that precious free energy from the sun. 
opting to turn our attics into ovens instead of powering our homes and lowering our impact on the electrical grid. Like so many brilliant ideas, it just takes someone crazy enough to think it up and the passage of time before we all look back and wonder that we ever lived without a solar roof. So if your roof is in great shape or the economics don't work for Tesla's solar roof just yet, don't worry. It's just a matter of time before it comes down market. The first Tesla cars were well north of $100,000 and as they reached scale, they came down market to more affordable models. So today, if you have a damaged roof insurance claim or your roof is ready to be replaced or you're building a new home, definitely check out Solar Glass Roof. You'll be helping promote the future of smarter and more sustainable homes. So that is an in-depth look at the Tesla solar glass roof. A big shout out to Mo. Thank you for joining us to give us your insight, especially being a customer and an installer. And thank you also to all of our patrons on Patreon and our YouTube members for making this show possible. If you want to check out the entire interview with Mo, where he talks about a lot of the details about this installation, join us on Patreon or as a YouTube member to check out the entire unedited video. And of course, don't forget to like this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get our future notifications. We've got some really fun stuff planned. Check out the channel. There's probably some other videos you're gonna like. And until next time, I'm Ricky, and this is Tuba Da Vinci.